Hello everyone, welcome to your daily card reading for um, August 13th, 2014. And I uh, just want to remind everybody I am available for private readings if you're interested. Uh, you can go to my website and I actually just fixed up my website because I realized that I didn't have um, a payment button for that. So, and I guess you actually have to do it by donate and just put the amount of minutes you want. It's a dollar a minute. So, um, anyway, um, I will move on to the reading today and see, I'll, I guess, you know, I'll, do the normal one tree magic and four chicken cards. Okay, we have success and it says the tree of paradise bears the fruit of eternal wisdom and light, but it is hidden so difficult to find. The palm tree. And you know, I, I want to say on um, the palm tree, I know that the fruit of the tree is difficult to find um, if you're looking for the fruit, but there's so much about the palm tree that is so useful. I mean, the palm tree is like a phenomenal tree. You can use everything about the palm tree, um, you know, for food, for housing, for, for whatever, and um, so, you know, it's not just success by, by really digging deep, um, but it's also success in all ways, you know, like a holistic, well-rounded success, that's what I, I get with this also. Okay. And we have Zodi, which represents the Zodiac. And this is kind of the concept of, um, you know, your birth chart or your astrology where it's like you were born into a certain time and place. And from that moment, um, you know, all your, your relationships unfold, all your contracts are set up. And, um, you know, you go from that point about your life to live you know your purpose out in in each step that you take you 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 know make make the most of your life and you know find find your meaning and your purpose and go towards um whatever really fulfills you and uh you know brings you gratitude so um it's not only our personality and what we're here to do and what we're here to serve but it's also our our contracts with people um you know whether it's for a short period of time or a long period of time it doesn't matter um you know people are important whether they whether we have a good interaction or a bad interaction those those relationships are always important for us to to learn and grow and navigate Okay, and Singa, this is uh, Five of Fire, and this is about um, protecting yourself or being protected, not just um, protecting yourself by really being able to navigate the human world of the animal nature, the animal nature side of the, the human world, but um, also, also being protected by nature itself. And... Um, you know, the whole of nature within, within humans and with, you know, outside of humans, life in general, um, even when it's negative, it still works towards us in some way. It's interesting how that happens. Um, but, you know, we, we really just need to get our definition and definition of people around us and, um, you know, understand who who we are and who other people are and um, allow allow everybody to have their own personality and their own way and um, you know we just have to protect ourselves um, from from our interactions with other people and you know make our sec separations and um, the you know cut our cords with people who do not serve us, 
you know, I mean, it's like you can get your, your message, you can get your information, that's great, um, but you don't keep these people in your life or even, you know, keep keep the their energy. You want to get rid of their energy. You know, you, you have your own, your own um, life and your own radiance and your own um, world of what, resonates with you and what does not. Okay, we have snowball, which is uh, things escalating and building. And um, in this, in this case, I, I mean, I would say that um, this is a positive thing because we have the protection, we have the division. Um, we we have our, our knowledge of ourself and our life and what what is really a part of our our soul's growth and our soul's contract something that you know has the larger purpose with with humanity and you know our inner purpose also and we have that protection so this is this is really about um, getting getting the ball rolling with our lives in our success and our, our work and our service and um, not just that but our, our relations and you know everything everything that that makes up our our um, blueprint okay and the last one hmm our Tico Wine who represents um, somebody who who breaks out of prison, out of, um, and, and it's not just a prison, it's actually it went in two stages. She was first um, henpecked, uh, really abused by the community, and then, um, and then she was separated and she was alone. And then uh, she joined our flock and she's, she's so cute. She, she's a happy chicky and she, she was so happy the moment I just remember that it was the cutest moment of her plowing into my pile of chickens at bedtime and she went right in the middle and she was so happy she just like you know nestled right in there and it was for the first time just totally loved and embraced by a bunch of chickens so um you know this is this is really a success story um I you know I don't, I'm going to draw a couple more cards here. I don't know why we have this uh, neg negativity, or you know, the five of wands it tends to be a little bit negative. So, um, and then this one is talking about breaking free from negative. So, uh, I'm going to get a little bit of clarity by drawing two more cards for both sides. Okay, we have Da Vinci. And huh, Da Vinci and you. Okay. So okay. I wanna say, first of all, there is um jealousy uh about your nature. There's jealousy and uh, that's what this this is all about. Um you're a powerful well-rounded, amazing person because that's who Da Vinci was. He lived out all of his talent and displayed his beauty to the world and really did a lot for, for humanity. And, um, and you know, actually, I, I was reading that he, you know, he did have um, some, uh, you know, depression and struggles with, with people, but it was because he was just so brilliant. And I mean, that's what always happens with the, the brilliant people. So we, we always have to remember, um, the, the bright lights and, and the, the geniuses, you know, people can't see the bright light. People can't see, uh, they, they can sense it. They can see it, but they can't really, um, it's beyond their scope and people d can't know the genius because the genius is beyond their intelligence so um, it's it is lonely it's lonely uh, when you stand above the crowd I mean da Vinci just totally 
um, you know, excelled above above the the group, and it's lonely. You know, you have you have this loneliness. You have this sense of, of feeling picked on and separated because um, people can't really relate to you in your intelligence, and they can't really relate to you and in, in your radiance and who you are because they they can't match it. You know, so. Um, it, it causes this this kind of s sense of separation and alienation, and you know, I know Robin Williams is all over, <laughs> all over the um, the YouTube and all over the uh, internet. But that, again, you know, I mean, he was a brilliant, brilliant mind. I mean, he he was so beautiful in his his expression and um, his care and his um, sensitivity. He was. I mean, story after story about that guy, and, and I lived in the Bay Area, and I, I heard stories about him just living there, and he was just an amazing person, and when, when you're that brilliant, and you're that, um, you know, intelligent, you just, people can't always relate to that, because they don't, they don't um, have that themselves full-blown, you know, so they can't, they can't, um, I, although they really should be able to, um, share in that energy. I mean, I always, whenever I see somebody, you know, with a quality that is well developed in that person that I don't have that well developed, and I'm aware that this person is far ahead of me in their development of this beautiful aspect of themselves. Um, it is, it is so humbling to me, and I love that feeling of, of, you know, being able to go into that energy and, and really um, respect it and, and receive from it. And, you know, it, it's almost like you can go into an energy and have it take you under its wing and have it teach you and have it, you know, um, groom you and, you know, bud you. You know, they, it, this energy can always be shared. It can always be transmitted, you know. So when I see somebody who, even if I can't grasp, um, a part of their intelligence or a part of their, you know, the radiance of their heart, I can still receive from it and, and really um, be honored to be in, in that presence and, um, you know, being washed by that energy and being um, cared and nurtured by that energy. So, you know, people should be able to do that, but unfortunately, um, th this, we do have the good and evil in the animal nature, in the animal kingdom. Um, it's, it's sad, but there is, um, the animal world reflects the human world, and um, there is just horrible, unexplainable things that happen all the time in nature, and uh, just like in the human world. And, um, you know, this, this will go after these special people. And um, so anyway, I, you know, I just... This this looks like um, the the soul contract here is really to be beyond it. We talked about um, the the lucid dreaming, and actually I forgot to say in that video um, it was also astral travel. A penguin has to do with astral travel, which is another form of basically lucid dreaming in the waking world. You know where uh, although it's kind of you can do it in a state of meditation or do it in um, you know. I don't know. I guess I guess just in a state of meditation, but it's you know you have this out of body experience, or it could just be a um, a kind of a mental experience, even if it's not a full blown you leave your body experience. But um, there's ways that we can we can really move beyond this lower nature of things, and you know I mean I was. I was just attacked by somebody. I got my first dislike, and I know exactly who it was. And um, and it was this person just has a lot of darkness, um, very very dark. And um, you know, it. I had to, you know, I had to shake it off, of course, you know. But you know, I I realized I I knew this was coming because everybody else who does YouTube gets you know attacked by somebody at some point, you know. So. Um, Anyway, it, it was just really about um, finding my way to, to maneuver around this and using it for your strength. And I did. I actually I saw the importance of, of this um, interaction. I, I, I really got a 
powerful lesson out of it um, about about this this person's mind. It was actually a a man that had a sex change and was pretending to be a woman and attacking me on on my critique of uh, male mind versus woman's mind and it it just basically proved my point. I realized um, dealing with a man and sure enough so. Um, anyway, you know, but, and then I, I can also understand, you know, his, his whole attack on me was that he, he has to be this woman and this is his deep need and he doesn't want to tell anybody. This is his secret, you know, and, um, and that's just, you know, he's fooling the world, you know, he's living a lie and he's lying to everybody else and, and you can't really change. So it's, really kind of weird when you're interacting with somebody and there's this secret it 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 is felt that that secret is felt and and it you don't understand the darkness in it until you until you really understand the truth of the situation and then and then it makes everything a lot better you know i mean to really see that thoroughly and see that through um you know it was it was uh it I don't know, it just is grounding, I guess, or, or comforting that, okay, well, we still can know each other, we can still see each other, you know, um, as as life forms on this planet. Whether whether we're different, it doesn't matter, you know, it's just that, um, you know, it's scary when, when we don't understand what's going on, you know. So it's it's really about taking the understandings and, and moving forward in your life path with that and, and then allowing the charge, you know, be, be the single, you're protected, um, you know, it, it's okay, and, um, and you can, you can bypass the emotion and, and, you know, find your core of strength and, and really move forward with the knowledge of your experience. And, um, there is always knowledge in that experience that is useful. And now on this side, we have, this is like divine partnership, true, true love. Um, da Vinci and you did absolutely everything together. They loved each other so very much. And um, they were inseparable, those two. And um, so, and, and that's true. When you, when you find somebody who, who truly loves you unconditionally, um, just like that, everything, everything can change that, that energy power in that is is really breaks you free from any prisons i mean love true love is the ultimate freedom it frees you from everything you know it's i mean true true love and unconditional love is the is the experience of freedom it is um a strong support at your core that allows you kind of like a grounding cord and um, a safety as you as you move into that world and travel you know and so you know it, it doesn't have to be um, you know romantic love it could just be that unconditional love uh, this is a partnership that lasts a lifetime this is this is one that never ever leaves you know this is the eternal connection that um, we're not we're not here to learn how we're different we're here to learn how our hearts are one and the same and um with these people and and of course we always see how we're different you know so um and we can appreciate those differences but it's like really um finding that that common that common bond with each other and um you know having things snowball from that so it could be you know it could be parents it could be um special special friends it could be a you know a soulmate or a twin flame it could be um some you know one person that you you continue to be very very close with um in your intimate life that is becomes your your family or it could just be like your soul family somebody in your soul family your soul family comes together and and really gives you this snowball effect gives you that sense of belonging gives you that that you know big pile of chickens to plow into and be loved by so anyway um i hope everyone got what they needed out of this success is in the works
I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks a lot.